Hi guys. So <clears throat> I knew like one of my like my vlog was due. Um but I wasn't sure if I was gonna do like the vlog today. Um but I've sort of like said in my blogs that you know the good and the bad um to be uploaded because obviously every day is different um and now it's it's okay not to be okay some days um and today's that day for me um it's been a bit of a mixed week really <clears throat> um but i've sort of like managed to get through um and today's quite hard i've sort of just been like threw off a bit um my post like doesn't come till dinner time ish um and i was fine this morning and i was quite positive this morning and stuff um and i got mail from something called emma's diary <clears throat> now i signed up um with with this organization when when i was um pregnant um and you get stuff sent through like nappies and, and and things like that so obviously when i lost the baby i emailed them and, and cancelled it and said you know explained my situation and today something came through the post um and it was quite hard actually it took it, it took me back um <clears throat> i know you know my mind's telling me i know i've lost the baby and i know i'm you know um but just seeing something like that in front of you and you know one of the <clears throat> one of the leaflets said um welcome to the world you know and <clears throat> there was wipes and stuff in it and um baby like johnson's bubble bath and stuff like that and and i opened it and you know I, I've just, you know, I've sobbed um, my heart out because, you know, my heart still aches for this loss. Uh, and I don't know if I've fully accepted that the baby's gone. Well, well, well I think I, I do, obviously, like, you know, I do know the baby's gone. Um, and I do try to get on with my days, but it really tugged on my heart today. Like, it really, really pulled me back. And I sort of struggled to calm myself down, um, to be honest. <clears throat> um, and, and that's, you know, one of the reasons why I wasn't going to do this vlog. But I feel it's important to do it, even if I'm having a bad day. And it's not amazingly um, a positive vlog. There's bits in it, you know, that is positive. <clears throat> but I do, you know, I think it's important to see, like, both sides. Like, when I'm doing okay and when I'm struggling as well. Because every day is different, isn't it? We're not always happy, you know. So, the stuff... Um, that came through the mail today I've popped it into the baby's bag that I've got because I've got some vests and stuff in there um, and eventually I am going to put all the baby stuff in a box as a, um, a memory box for you know for, for you know next time because that's that's all I've got to show haven't I? I haven't got no scans or anything like that you know so this is what I've got to show for myself of what was the baby really um so yesterday i had um, my counseling session and it was it was quite positive to be fair and it and like i've said i feel it's important to show my emotions on the good days and the bad days um you know she mentioned she was proud of what i've been doing with the vlogs and stuff like that so that was really nice to hear um and that i've got her support um with it as well um and we discussed a couple of things you not know, uh, a couple of projects that you know are coming up that 
I'm going to think about and, and possibly do. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I've just lost where I was now. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so I've got a bit of like self care homework to do to write for next week. Um, you know, I'm going <clears> to <throat> ask her to bring some images. Um, and you know, because it helps when when I'm struggling, um, to, like to speak, um, because like I, you know, I've said before, I do trust my counsellor, and I have got a really good bond with her, but I still do find it hard to talk about things, and sometimes I get frustrated with myself after she's left, um, by not opening up, and I'm thinking, oh, why, Michaela? Why didn't you just open up and just? why didn't you just bloody tell her and, and, and stuff like that so what sometimes that I tend to do is I'll rather text her what's been going on or I'll email her and then she'll take note of that for when she comes next time and she'll start the ball rolling if that makes sense and sometimes I find that easier um, and other times I can just talk about anything like I can just open up to it I think it just depends how I, how I feel about that subject or whatever we are discussing um, you know, but that's like how anxiety works. You've got like you sat there, and I'm 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 saying to myself, "Go on, you you can say it now. Go on, just say it now." And that's what I keep going myself. So it's like alarm bells. Like it's like the anxiety's in your head. Like no, like don't talk about it. Keep it locked up. Do you know? She's not want to like. She's not going to want to listen. And this, that, and the other. And it's it's crazy how like your mind can just take over it. And then, like I said, I get frustrated when she's gone because I'm just like, oh, God's sake, like, why did I let anxiety take over? But I'm still learning. I'm still learning them triggers. I'm still learning them boundaries with anxiety and things like that, really, and how to how to deal with it in a healthy way. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, so I have decided I am going to do weekly vlogs. Um... I do find that they help me as well, to be honest. Um, and like I've said, if somebody's suffering in silence and don't feel strong enough to, to go and ask for help and they'll watch this, then maybe they'll get a bit of inspiration or whatever, or just something that, you know, it is okay not to be okay. It is okay to cry. Um, I hate crying in front of people, but I've learned that I have to because you need to go with the flow with your like with your emotions if that makes sense if you bottle like it up it, it it'll just get worse and well it will for me it just gets worse in my mind um if i don't speak about stuff and then <clears throat> i'll say it myself oh, i don't need to talk about that i'm fine i've dealt with that blah blah, blah. and i haven't i know i haven't but it's just again it's just the anxiety you know that takes over so yeah, I am going to keep doing him. Um, and I think that's it really this like this week. Like I say, it's been up and down. Um, and I, you know, I had a bad night the other night where I just couldn't settle my anxiety it was playing up. And I have got another little video that's going to be posted like next to this video. Um, it was about two o'clock in the morning and I was just chatting on a vlog and I just thought again it's important because some nights I don't go to sleep because my anxiety is through the roof or I can feel myself coming on having a panic attack and some other nights I can just go to street like sleep straight away you know so yeah there's like gonna be like another little video a bit on that bit as well so yeah um and that's it really and I'll probably well yeah I'll speak and upload another vlog um next week so i hope you all have a good weekend and a good week and i'll speak to you all soon bye for now hey guys so it's 2 a.m um and I have not had a wink of sleep yet. This is what anxiety does to me. Um, I'm tired. I feel tired. 
but my mind just won't let me sleep at all. Um, I came to bed about 10 o'clock um, I never even went on my phone either before I went to bed neither and yeah I've just tossed and I've turned I just can't seem to switch off um, I've tried all sorts like mindfulness and, and everything but I just can't settle. This happens a couple of times a week for some reason, and I don't know why. There's nothing that really set me off to be panicky about, but I am at the minute. I'm jealous or because Bella's laid right next to me. And yeah. <sighs> I wish I could just fall straight asleep. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Um, and then I will sit and debate with myself now. Shall I get up? Shall I just go and watch TV in the living room and on the sofa? Shall I just lay in bed and just try and keep trying? But then I'll give up on myself in the end and I will end up getting up and going and laying on the sofa and watching some TV. Um, so I'm not sure what to do. I've got my counselling session today, so yeah, maybe maybe there's something going something going on that I'm not managing to deal with properly. Um, maybe I can get it out with talking to my counsellor today. As you can see, I have my amazing and I mean amazing steps T-shirt on. Oh, you can't beat a bit of steps. I actually went and seen them this year um, at Scarborough Open Air Theatre. <laughs> it was great. I felt like an eight year old all over again, dancing away, knowing all the dance moves and stuff. So when I get like sad and that, I sort of like think of stuff like that. Or I'll play their music because it's just like happy, gay, cheesy music, isn't it really? Um. Well, obviously, like it's stuff like that that you don't want to think about at this time of night. <laughs> you need something relaxing, not upbeat. Um, I've even tried like hot drinks. I've tried having like hot chocolate, Horlicks. I've tried. I've even stopped like I haven't been watching TV in bed. I haven't even got the TV plug in the wall. I've just tried winding down. I tried not going on my phone before falling asleep. Um. I've done everything. I've listened to mindfulness. I've brightly tried to breathe, and I've just tried to zone out and things like that. I've actually stopped writing in my journal on the night time now because I do feel that sometimes it does get me worked up. Um, but I haven't written it tonight, so you know that's not what set this off tonight. Um, Oh no, this is just like anxiety and depression at its finest really, isn't it? Creeps out on you on a night time more than anything. It's a pain in the bum. Um, because I know I'm going to be shattered later. And then I'll have a sleep this afternoon. And then I, you know, it's just like a oh, vicious circle, isn't it? Might have said anxiety is the best. But I sort of felt like a panic attack was coming on, hence why I've done this video, just to try and take my mind off it a bit. My heart started racing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just feel a bit ugh, tonight. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to get up, you know, and go and watch a bit of TV in the living room. Get my blanket and just lay on the sofa and maybe... I might just fall, fall asleep listening to the TV or something, I don't know. It's not like laying in bed looking at the four walls as the week, because I'll just drive myself more mad, won't I? But yeah, tonight's not a good night, um, but I will do another vlog and mingle it all in so it all makes like a sort of sense. Bye for now.